a lot of people are sort of emailing in sort of brainy stuff. Brilliant. And getting a lot of stuff about uh, philosophy. Oh, yeah. And all that. Um, Descartes, is, that's another one that's mentioned on an email. Descartes. Yeah. The French philosopher. Yeah. What was, what was, what was your question? Well, he, he sort of cropped up on an email. Someone said, uh, what do you think of, of him? And I was like, oh, I don't know. He um, uh, famously, he, he pondered his, his own existence. Uh, cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am. He was thinking about that. He was thinking, how do I know all this is true, everything around me? And he thought, uh, well, I can see it and I can smell it and I can hear it. And he went, oh, yeah, but my senses can be fooled. I could be dreaming. But if I'm dreaming, then at least... I'm alive, at least I have some sort of consciousness. So if I'm even thinking about anything, uh, you know, I am, I exist. I think, therefore, I am. Cogito ergo sum. But we don't need to know the Latin bit. Why is everyone always going back to Latin? It was ages ago. <laughs> Why is that language always being... And w were Latin people always in a rush? Because they seem to be like words for full sentences. Why couldn't they just set at the time and say what they want to say? <laughs> And it's just like, what, what was the rush? To teach Latin. What about Plato? Right, Greek. Right, now, would you say he's, he's a bright bloke? Yes, I would. I'd say he's a very, very bright bloke. Right, let me tell you this. Right, <laughs> if he's that bright, you know he got killed? No. Got hit on the head by an egg. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell! Well, he's right, not, he's not so clever then, is he? That's what I'm saying. Ooh. What's the story with the egg? He was on holiday or something, right? And... <laughs> he was on holiday. In Greece, probably. He yeah. was at, he was having a walk about and a bird was flying over the sort of... This bird was what? A great orc? What what so, what size bird killed him with his egg? He was a big one, yeah. Was it? And and the way they used to crack... Well, an ostrich on a hang glider. The way they used to crack the eggs open to let the kids out, they used to drop them on rocks. <laughs> <laughs> what bird is this? Dropping its egg to let the kids out? You're a maniac! <laughs> You are a maniac! And Plato <laughs> had a little bald head. Right. So from the top, the bird's there looking down, and it goes, oh, there's there's a little rock, I'll drop the egg. Hit him on the head. Killed him. Now, this is what I was saying before about... You... I'm either... Well, I'm letting too much go now, cos I'm so desensitised to his nonsense, I let him go, the bird saw Plato and said, there's a rock down there. Yeah. Well, if he's dropping... If these birds are killing people with bald heads, you've got to be terrified. So, but listen, this is what I'm saying, though, right? Before, about knowledge and that, how, how knowledge is, is hassle or success is That's hassle. That's that. I, now, now th I think that was Newton. <laughs> knowledge is hassle. Now, what... what but why... Why is, is Plato's intelligence got anything to do with the fact that this bird dropped it... Because... Head? Because he was intelligent and he's probably earning a nice few quid yeah. by giving out whatever messages he gave out. Yeah. He could afford to go on holiday to exotic places. If he was working in a factory, he wouldn't have been on this beach with big birds dropping eggs, <laughs> is what I'm saying. So, in a way, it backfired. His knowledge killed him. And that, I think, was Kierkegaard. His knowledge killed him. He, he shouldn't have been on the beach. He was only there having a break or whatever from doing what he does. <laughs> it wouldn't have happened if he wasn't on holiday. 